Hi, I'm Melanie from Warp. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to install and set up Power Level 10K, the custom prompt plugin in the Warp terminal. Let's get started. So if you don't already have Warp downloaded on your machine, you wanna to go to warp.dev, hit download now, and follow the prompts to get it set up for the first time. Next, before we even install P10K, we need to make sure we have the right fonts on our machine. Uh, Power Level 10K relies on custom nerd fonts to make the cool design that you see in the prompt. And so the recommended one is Meslo Nerd Font, uh, Line Graph Small. You wanna come download all four of these files, just double click, follow the prompts to get them set up in your font book. And when you get done, reboot Warp, because that's gonna bust the font cache and help us with what we wanna do next, which is go into settings and appearance, scroll down to text, and set our terminal font to Meslo LGS NF. Perfect. Now, while we're in here, we also wanna to go to features and toggle on honor users custom prompt. Warp has its own fancy prompt that is gonna clash with P10K if we don't turn that off. So we wanna make sure we honor the custom one. Beautiful. Now we're ready to install P10K. You can grab the exact command you need to run from the GitHub readme under manual, just copy it and bring it over. I happen to have it saved as a workflow in my warp terminal. So I'm gonna say install P10K and yes, beautiful. And I need to reboot Z shell. Awesome. So now the power level 10K configuration wizard is running. This is going to assess the situation with the fonts on my machine and then give me some options so I can set my preferences, get my P10K prompt looking exactly the way I want it to. So yes, that looks like a diamond. Yes, that looks like a lock. Yes, this looks like an upwards arrow. And yeah, all of those icons do fit between the crosses. They are very close, but there is no overlap. Um, I want something really different from Warp's terminal prompt, so I'm gonna go with a rainbow, and I think I'll do Unicode, which is more inclusive than ASCII. Uh, yeah, let's show this current time. I want the 12-hour format. I'm a big softie, so I'm gonna do round prompt separators, round prompt heads, and blurred tails. I wanna select one line for my prompt height. I think that's gonna work best with Warp. And let's do sparse prompt spacing and mini icons. Um, concise instead of fluent, we can cut out a few words. And yes, I want my transient prompt. So now everything is set up. I'm gonna download the files and that's gonna configure everything to get it running. Uh, yep, I wanna apply the changes to the Z shell configuration file. And there we go, now P10K is running in warp. Now right away, you can see that the contrast here is not super great. There are a couple of ways to solve this problem. The easiest way is to just pick a different warp theme. Uh, so under appearance, you can kind of play with the different themes, look for something that's a little bit easier. I actually think that Solarized Dark looks pretty good, so I can enable that theme and that's much better. The other way that you can control this and even control the segments that are on your screen is by editing the theme file directly. So I'm using rainbow. I'm gonna search for that rainbow file. I'm <laughs> opening it with uh, Xcode. And in here, you can not only like comment on certain segments that you wanna show, but you can adjust colors as well. So for example, maybe I am interested in seeing my battery life. Um, maybe I wanna see the current time and uh, my disk usage for some reason, okay? I can come in and save that. And then there are lots of different places where you can control the colors and the key for the colors is between zero and 255. Um, so in order to get the key for that, there's a special command that you run. I've actually got it saved here. Print the compatible colors and it gives you the full list. So I might say that I really like this particular shade of blue. Let's do uh, 018. And I could come in here and say that I really want my uh, foreground here to be, let's see, 018, awesome. When I save this and run P10K configure again, all of my changes will take effect. 
So the only difference is next time you run configure, you want to overwrite your file. Yes. And yeah, now I've got my new fancy color for my operating system here. I've got the battery life and extra details in my prompt. So that is it. I hope this is enough to get you started with P10K on Warp. And I can't wait to see how you customize your prompt. Be sure to share it with us on Twitter at warp.dev or in the Discord community.